What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan and Tara here again. We are a little bit late with this month's Munch Pack. Actually, this is last month's Munch Pack. This is for December, but I'm sure a lot of you guys are under will be understanding of that because, well, it was Christmas time. It got really, really nuts. And was that, I don't remember, was this, was this our first Christmas Munch Pack? Have I been getting them for no, over a year yet? This no, is the first this December the one? first, like, December Munch Pack. Yeah, packs. okay, that's why I thought. I couldn't remember when I started getting these, but... It's been it's been a crazy month, so like as we're recording this, it's actually the third, so we're kind of grinding to get this going here. But anyway, let's get into it. I'm excited. Let's see what's in store this time. I'm kind of open for Christmassy themed stuff, but you I can. doubt it. You yeah. hope, but you can always hope. You can hope. Those only you can hope as much as you want, but <laughs> Tony is the one who says what you get. Tony. Thanks, Tony. I put you over there. All right. So I see a lot of candy right off the bat. <laughs> oh, nice. Alright, so we got Trolley, the octopus man. <laughs> sour Bright. I think mm. that's French. So we got these sour candies, probably pretty s similar stuff, but they're all shaped like little octopus. Octopi. octopi. Let's crack her open, see if we can do it. Oh, that was very successful. Was very New Year, new me, no ripping open. <laughs> no exploding gags. <laughs> oh, look at these little octopus. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Mm. And not bad, quite sugary, but it's a fat free candy. You won't gain weight with this. But yeah, you get a cavity. So. <laughs> Those are probably good. They're not that sour though. No, they're not even remotely sour. No. They're like they just taste lies. Like yeah, that's pretty much what it is. An octopi sugar snack. Right at, wait, where's this from? I'm getting, this kind of looks American, American-y. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, Illinois. Okay. It, um, I'm, I'm a big fan of gummy candies. For yeah, sure. no, I like them too. Uh, but if it's a sour one, I expect to be, be sour. <laughs> Enough said. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh it's not open, yeah. it's just stuck? Yeah, they're just stuck to each other. There you go. Oh. Yeah, what the hell is this? It seems like quite the wasted bag. Jelly. Jelly Amrode. Rude. Jelly, what? From Candyland. Candyman. I don't know about this one, yo. They've got the, they got the naturally printed um, serving size underneath and they stuck a new nutrition facts over top. It's probably because the nutrition facts isn't in English. Australia, UK. Oh. Slies, they're lying about what's in here. But at the same, actually, you could be right though because this is no. But there's multiple. There's multiple things over here too. It might be. Might be Japanese. I don't know. It's got that. I don't think it's Japanese. Doesn't seem too Japanese, but it's got Arabic scripture or whatever. It's one of those candies that's probably shipped all over the world. Yeah. So it's just got a bunch. We don't really know the source. I'm sure you can find out, but. I feel like these are gonna be hard. Like I don't. Oh, they are. Mm. They're, they're, oh god, they're probably old. <laughs> they're like old as fuck. They're supposed to be little pears. Yeah, shout out to all the pears. Oh. Height pears. Oh, it's awful. Oh. It tastes like it actually says, perfume. It's Pakistani. Mmm. <laughs> Definitely not my choice of candy. What does it taste like? It, to me, it tastes like somebody just sprayed perfume in my mouth. Well, I don't make a habit to eat perfume, so I don't know what that's like, but... You can't say that you've <laughs> never been like... Ja, 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 ja. Oh. No. That's, how I've done that. that's how women apply. Actually, I just do one thing sweet. But. Yeah, I can see what you're talking about, though. Um, very chemically, but... You know, we eat pears and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all my pears. Yeah, so, uh, the type of candy to stick to your teeth, like mold to your teeth and stay there for a long time. Yeah. I already have a little bit of a problem with that right now. It'll come off eventually, though. Good God, so many sweets right now. There's a lot of sweets today. Maybe that's why. December. December. So I don't know. the month of sweets. These are good. I, I can't read it. It's in a 
These look, these look like Swedish berries, but they don't look Swedish. These are like a hard candy. It's a sucking candy. Oh, is it? Yeah, and it's like a raspberry it. flavored sucking candy. Looks like some sort of Slavic nation. It's good. I had them in Germany. Oh, it's Bulgarian. So, you know what, though? So far, we're getting quite a diversity of, uh, of snacks from, like, look at this. I actually don't think I, I think I don't see other than one thing that's a repeat today, and the repeat is a good repeat, so. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I'll give you guys a little look at these. So, yeah, they're, they're like a Swedish berry style made in Bulgaria by the French, tasted by the American, no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious though, because you like you're like the look of these things is gonna make you wanna just chomp on it like a Swedish berry, but you shan't. This is a favorite of mine. Ah, fuck! So he does it anyways. There's an accident. I applied light pressure. This is a favorite of my dad's. Mm. He really likes them. They actually do taste like a Swedish berry, just not mm -hmm. gummy. They're good. That's quite good actually. It's just a sucking one. All right, what do we got here? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Ow, I bit my tongue. Cup of men, nakma. Caramels. In essence, yes. Um, where are you from? More Bulgarian candy. Wow, oh, they really have a bowl. I don't think we've ever had Bulgarian No, we haven't. Before. We've never had anything from Bulgaria. Bad. Yeah. It's beginning to look like a, a lot like a Bulgarian Christmas. <laughs> oh. Alright, I worry. Give you a little look it again. It smells like it's real quite strong. caramel. Like, there's a difference between the smell of fake caramel and caramel that's actually been made by a person and not like a machine. Oh god, it's like really soft and ch kind of chalky. Is that how it's supposed to be? Probably. But it, it could also be very like old. <laughs> well, like when we got um. When we usually get these. They're really sweet. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that actually. Not that it tastes bad per se, but it's very chalky. Yeah. It's got a chalky texture, very sweet. Anybody who went Halloween trick-or-treating and got caramels in their Halloween bag, oh. that's what it's like. It's those caramels, just from Bulgaria. Yeah, no, I'm not a huge fan of it personally, but the thing about these munch packs are, when they ship, when they by the time they sh they ship all their snacks to the the supplier, and the supplier sends it to munch pack, and munch munch pack sends it to us, and we wait damn near a month before we open this thing, the, the snacks start to get a little bad. Well, we've had a few that were like a couple weeks away from yeah. expiration. Yeah, and they, like they were still okay. But, but the, you could like tell that like parts were falling off, they were drying up, that sort of thing. We mentioned that. So I'm worried that we're going to... Want to know the best before date on this? Oh, dear. The 10th of December, 2015. So, so they the, are bad, technically speaking. So by the time I got... I, uh, the thing is, I got this... When did I get this box? Was it the end of November? End of November. Okay, so technically they weren't... So they want you to do it right away. That's more reason to do it right away. But... I don't think Munch Pack should be sending out candy no. that's near exp expiration. No, that's um, that's kind of bad. It's gonna be sitting. No, yo, that's probably why they get it so so affordable because it's near expiration. And then they just send it to us and they just munch on it for like a day, hoping that most people will eat it all in one sitting. That's but that's nobody. That's probably why they were so chunky. I bet you if we had gotten them a year ago when they were fresh, they'd been chewy. And that was juice. disgusting, though. Anyway, let's move on. This one I have high hopes for just because it's sealed up like this. But then again, so was that. Anyway. A uh, Jira toy, and it's Toy Story themed. You got Buzz, you got Woody. It kind of looks like a dreidel. Yeah. Actually, it does. I think that's what it's supposed to do. But there's candy in the middle. Is it actually a, a dreidel? It looks like a, a dreidel. Do you remember being a kid and having lollipops like that? No. I, I do. I'm it's, not Jewish, so. Well, I'm not Jewish either, but <laughs> <laughs> they used to sell lollipops like that. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it, it is a dreidel. That's funny. You got. That's cute. Oh, it's like. It's each character. In Hebrew? Maybe? See a little dreidel. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidels. Toy Story Online. Made in Mexico. Oh, God. 
a red flag. No offense to my Mexican folk out there, but your candy, your candy can be really sucks. Harsh. <laughs> and everybody loves that though. So the oh god, dude, I don't know about this oh, one. It's a dippy one. Why is it with them and dips? You guys love your dip sticks. What's this? I give you a sticker. What was Woody's horse name again? Bullseye. All right, it's Bullseye. Oh man. I don't know about this one, and if it's bad, it's we're so in for a... scary. <laughs> See, my fingers, I, I didn't even touch anything, my fingers are already sticky. sticky. I feel like we have to do this properly. No, yeah. I am not looking forward to that. So essentially, it's like a, a sugary sucker. It reminds me of a fun dip, but... Oh aside. man, I'm gonna regret this cheese. You gotta lick it first, nothing's gonna stick to it. How's it taste? On its own. Actually, not a whole lot to it. It's it's kind of like mild. Very But it's weird, like they it's like all bumpy on the outside. Yeah, well it's yeah, because it's got like the sticky residue stuff. That can't be right. There's not a lot of room in here, so there you go. Not bad. Actually, it's kind of like a sour thing. It's actually not that terrible. Mexico, you're coming back. Yeah, it just tastes like one of those uh, ring pops, kind of. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's that's actually not bad. I was expecting it to taste like a butthole, but <laughs> we got lucky. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't, um, there are worse things in this world than this. And, yeah, I'm not going to have any more, so <laughs> if you want it. Mm. <laughs> Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Whee, Woo! look at it go. It's dreidling. Actually, that's even better than when it had the stick on it. Yeah, look at it spin. How does, how does the dreidel work, though, when it drops? That's who you are in life. You're asking me questions that I know nothing about. Look, we're Woody. Woody yeah. came up top. Woody. Woody. Woody's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is what you're talking about, yes. right? I don't even think I'm going to bother eating them, to be honest. I will eat okay. them. Well, if you guys remember these, actually, no, I think these are a little different. These are a little different. Bless you. These brands. I don't remember this guy, but remember, remember we got, like, snackable peas before? We had garlic snackable peas. Yeah, these are different. These are wasabi flavored this time. So, obviously, I would assume they're from Japan, but these are actually quite good. I might try one then, just in case. The wasabi Oops. peas are really good. They're spicy. Well, delicious. Oh, well, well. oh wow. Mmm. <coughs> yeah, these are really good wasabi peas. Hold up. I dropped the pea. Oh, there. Yeah, it's quite... Uh, that one, the one that I had, it's like it's like an immediate little... Tingle, tingle, tingle. <laughs> oh, my God. Just pour them, babe. Pour them into your hand. I'm just trying to grab one and it flies. God damn. It's annoying. I don't even know where it went anymore. I hate that. And then you got food somewhere. Your hand. I just want like a couple. I don't want many. That's why I only took one. That's more than that. You can handle four. I don't want to. They're good. I love them. I love the sabi piece so much. All right, I guess. All right, let's try this one. That just looks like it's either coming out of the baby's butt or going into the baby's butt. <laughs> 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 All right, so we got a little, um, it looks like a cheesy poof like, oh, but it's but not. It's a peanut snack. This is going to be interesting. Show them the baby's butt. <laughs> There's a baby on a skateboard. He's being chased by this peanut snack and it looks like it's going up his butt or he's farting it out. <laughs> <laughs> We're not really sure what's happening. Yeah, and he's all happy about it, so maybe it's consensual. <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh, awesome. I think we've, um, awesome or whatever. It's good. It's... Bamba. That's their, that's their thing. It's good. It's... it's yeah. I'm not kidding. That's their logo. It's good, comma, it's. But I like, it is like, good, comma, it is. it's supposed to be like the label of what it is. It's good. It's Bamba. Oh, maybe. See yeah, that's probably what they're saying. All right. Uh, so there's a lot of peanuts in here. 
So if you eat this, you have a peanut allergy, well, you're TKO, it's on. You will get sick. Protect Don't from the this. sun. Oh, I like kosher. It's kosher. Um, well. Oh, this one just went bad. <laughs> December 28th. See that? We shouldn't have waited so long. Oh, That's we'll what see happens. how it tastes. They'll probably just oh. taste down. That's probably why. I'm just trying to find out where but it's from. But if they've been sealed properly, then it shouldn't be an issue. Oh. Oh, it's Israeli. I knew I recognized this brand. We've ate awesome before. Smell? Wow. It's, it's such a troll. Because you think it's going to be like cheese. It smells like peanut butter. But it smells like peanut butter. I feel like if anything, they might be a little stale, but they're not going to taste too bad. It's actually not that bad. Mm. It's like if you were to eat a Cheeto of peanut butter. Yeah. It's like a peanut butter Cheeto. It's very puffy. Mm, very soft. But it tastes like... The thing is, though, it tastes more like a straight peanut. It's not a very strong taste. I mean, it's there. You know it's a peanut. I like it, actually. But it's... Uh, I don't think they've gone bad. subtle. I no, I don't think they're bad either. They, I think the bag was properly sealed. Yep. If there was a little hole or something, I think we would have been like, oh, but... No, that's actually really good. It mm. tastes like you're eating a peanut. Your peanut. Mmm. That's all right, actually. I bet if you grabbed a ton, you ate them all at the same time. It'd be like a bunch of It'll be like eating that big stick of peanut butter that all kids do. You put a spoon. Hell, adults do that. Mothers. <laughs> all right, let's get this big one out the way. Spicy Cajun. All right, that's a Z, right? So Zaps, potato chips. New Orleans kettle style spicy Cajun craw taters. So it's crawfish flavored taters. Cajun taters. <laughs> spicy Cajun craw taters. <coughs> yeah. Enjoy great tasting zaps anywhere in the motherfucking USA, son. Anywhere. Even Louisiana, Texacana. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll give you a little look see. Um, you guys probably have seen this before. I've never seen this before. I like the packaging. Yeah, it's like old timey. It's all I'm excited to try this. Little whiff. Um, smells kind of processed, to be honest, from the smell of it. Oops. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah. Little oh, yeah. The aftertaste is where you taste it. Like the end result taste is where you taste the unique flavors. Then it ends with a little bit of a, a tingle. I, I like it. Like a really good chip. I like it. It's like um, I don't know if any of I don't know if Americans get Miss Vicky's, but it's like a kettle cooked chip. It's like a Miss Vicky's chip. That's quite good, actually. Yeah, I like I've never it. had anything taste like that before. And it's got a good tingle spice to it. Yeah, it's supposed to be Very spicy. gentle. It's very like, it's like, okay, the spice is like, say you're walking with like, I don't know, a good friend of yours by a cliff. <laughs> and your friend is just like, whoa, I gotcha. You know what I mean? You, need, you, know, you'll, you know he'll never throw you over, but for a second you think you are. <coughs> That's what it's like in terms of spice leveling. That's my spice o -gram. Your spice o -gram? Yeah, depending how spicy it is, that's that should, that's how I should measure it. If he's going out there to kill you, <laughs> or if he's going out there to just troll you. Do you remember, like, one of the first bunch packs, there was, like, a Tostitos chip that we don't get here, but it's from Mexico, and it was so spicy, but it was so good. I'm not sure. Maybe. It was, like, on the verge of death spicy. Oh, but didn't have, like, a red last, fire thing? Yeah, and then in that last minute, his friend was like, oh, no. Oh, 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 he's like pretty much hanging off the edge. He's, he's like, like oh, you're you going to die. You're going to die. Why are you doing this? And then, oh, uh, just trolling. Chill. <laughs> you slept with my sister, you bitch. <laughs> all right, so next item. There's only a few left, but finally, out of all that chippiness, that candiness, we have ourselves a chocolatey goodness. Um, I'm not sure the brand. However, it looks similar to the one that the brands have already opened. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Probably not. Nope. Um, 
So it's basically a coated wafer filled with hazelnuts, flavored cream. So it's like a bueno. Yeah, I would assume so. A bueno. Mm. I'm trying to find the best before date because I don't know, brah. Yeah, they said check the package. Production date and best before on the package somewhere. Whatever. I'll just crack it open. We'll just eat it anyway. Yeah, well, we're going to eat it anyway, oh, anyway, so. <laughs> we'll, we'll be able to tell how shitty it is based on the texture of it when we open this sucker. It looks appealing. It looks all right. It's a little mushed. It's still actually relatively solid, so it just looks like one of those wafers, you know, mm -hmm. the layers. Yeah, it tastes like a chocolate wafer. Mm -hmm. No complaints here. No. It's kind of, kind of generic, really. It tastes like stuff that we have here. Yeah, nothing unique. The only difference was it was actually coated in chocolate. Right, uh, ours are not. Ours are not, but they still taste the same. Cause I aren't they kind of like, like it's wafer, layer of chocolate, la wafer, layer of chocolate, wafer. Yeah. So yeah, it's not as. The difference is with this one, you'll get chocolate on your fingers. And the other one, you won't. Much. Take that however you want. Anyway, I think we should go this then that just because of the, the the type of food this is. Okay. Oh my god, this thing is huge. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. This just sounds like death in a can. And the brand's called Seven Days, and the the thing the theme is Double Max, and it's basically a croissant with c cocoa and caramel fillings. I doubt it's that good looking inside. It's gonna be all squished. Especially if it's all bad by now. Best before can't read it because it's in a different language. <laughs> <laughs> Best before Ramadan. <laughs> it's definitely like, I hope that there's... Is there a leak? I'm just listening for a leak. Yes, there's a leak. Oh no. So, this is probably going to taste like butthole because it's best before date with the 8th of December. Oh dear. That's such a dangerous thing. Yeah, no, I don't, I think Munch Track needs to rethink that. I don't approve. But again, that's probably how the, these things are so cheap. How well, come there's the, all these... The th positive thing right now is it has no mold. Okay, good. That's good. <laughs> but I feel like this is packed with preservatives, which is why it still it looks... Intact. Like, okay. I might try oh a piece. I'll have a little bite. I'll probably just bite it. It's all dried out. Oh, no, no. It's no, on two no, sides. Yeah. So you got size. chocolate here, and then you have the caramel on the other side. I'm going to probably regret this. Yeah. Wow, I'm actually surprised. That's quite good. It could be a lot worse. Yeah, it's a little dry. But. This is like a super common snack down in so many other places. Like yeah. croissants stuffed it's with me, stuff. Though. Yeah. Um, it seems like there's a lot of pastries in a package. Yeah. East from here, you know, like in, the, in North America, we don't get these pastries in a package. Well, like, we, we have some. Like we Did have we like them? Twinkies and like okay. um, Joey Lewis or whatever those things. Yeah, but nothing like this though. But not like croissants with shit in it. And there's like other other types of pastries as well when they like well, what's an example? Um, like they have those cupcakes, like cupcakes in a in a in a thing. Mm. We don't have packaged cupcakes here, you know. So it's different. It's not terrible. It's just interesting that they get away with that kind of stuff. All right. So our last item, that's it, right? Yeah. Is a sweet sour stick. Apparently they can mold and twist. I think we've had something very yeah, similar. We might have been well, it's American, this. so we've probably actually had this one before. So this will probably be just fine. Nothing too crazy. It's got like a little tray. Again, something that says it's sour, but it's not. It says it's sour? Oh. Uh, it's honestly just like that other thing. Except different flavor. It tastes like strawberry. Yeah. 
I've had stuff like this before. It's a little stale. Is it? Yeah. Usually they're softer than this, these mm. kinds of candies. Good point, yeah. Oh. Huh. All right, well, try and put this back. Okay, so that's the shower sticks, and that's all we got today. Mm-hmm. So, no Christmas-themed stuff. I wouldn't imagine they would. It'd be fun, though. If they gave us a little Christmas card in there. Even just said Happy Holidays or something. You can write oh, your name, you can write Happy Holidays, douchebags. Just kidding. Unless that one over there yeah, says Happy one. Holidays. We have another one. They send them pretty early. So, it makes me wonder if the January one is going to be the one with the holiday stuff in it. I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to see. All right, so that is another Munch Pack in the books. What did you say your favorite item was? Um, probably these potato chips. The Yeah, the Nolan yeah. style. Nolan style yeah. Cajun craw taters. Yes, yeah, they're not bad. I agree there. Um, there was just a lot of sweet here today. Oh, yeah. Or maybe the little octopi. Yeah, those octopus the are pretty cool. Really good. Yeah. Um, for creation or for the uh, for presentation purposes, the Mexican dreidel is pretty dope. <laughs> Never had a dreidel before in my life, so that's fun. Um, other than that, though, yeah, like unfortunately, I feel like some of our stuff we can't really judge fairly because some of it was bad. Yeah, like some of it had gone, gone bad. So we can't really be like, oh, cool. Now I just gotta give this to my friend. Mm -hmm. Like, here you go, bro. Eat Enjoy. Because he usually takes my, 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 my munch packs that we're done with. Like, we're like, oh, we can't eat all this. He's like, dibs. And he just takes it home with him. So we'll just give him all this old stuff. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> Nobody knows who he is anyway. So it's all good. So, yeah, no, I'd have to agree with that. Chips were probably some of my favorite ones. Yeah, those were really good. And those things, they take forever to go bad anyway. Um, hell, look, February 2016. So... Those yeah. ones are the only ones that are solid still. Yeah, <laughs> that's bad. I never ate so much expired food in a long time. The thing so. is, candy can't really expire. The only no. thing that happens is it goes hard. Yep. But, uh, yeah. Or in a caramel's, uh, or in a, yeah, caramel's case, it goes powdery. Which was really quite gross. Yeah, it was quite gross. Chalk. Eat chalk that tastes like caramel, but it's a little, little hard at the same time. The texture was almost like biting into, like, soft sand. I don't know about that. I don't know. Mine was. was like, That's disgusting. Anyway, so this is the Munch Pack for December. Even though we're in January, don't tell anybody about that. But I'm sure they'll figure it out on their own. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to check this out for yourself, you know, you're new to the Munch Pack scene, this is your first video watching, or, you, or this isn't your first video and you're like, yeah, you know what, screw it, I'm going to go do it. Click the link right on top there and it'll take you to it. And you can do the same kind of thing that we do. Um, they have various sizes too. We have the, the middle, the average normal size, the original size, and they have a bigger one and a smaller one. So it all depends what you want to get. And obviously prices change based on where you are and what kind of munch pack you get. So it's all up to you guys. But that's where you want to go if you want to check it out. Just click the link in the description and you'll find out all the information there. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're as well, be sure to let, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to follow me on my social media. Links are all down below in the description. So from Dan and Tara, thank you very much. We'll see you guys in the next one. Who the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, on these violent and hit you 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylist, style Dan. Goddamn Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving by your back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get life savored. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that Glock and got them woofers, just Press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is knock? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.